Hello. Hey. We are back for your ears to enjoy another week of our show. It's true. It's we very true. are starting a cult. So that's what it would sound like if we were professional wrestlers that you know teamed up. You no, that's know? very true. Do you want to introduce each other that way? Introducing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got to put like the the little introducing. <laughs> or wait. And in this corner we have Jake. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Whoa, it's me, yeah! Jake. Ambient crowd noise. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and in the other corner, weighing in at 700 pounds. And. That's uh, Grant! Boo! <laughs> it's Grant. Grant's Boo, over there. Boo, you yeah. stink. And then here I come. I'm like, guys, come on, be fair. It's like, come on. They're paying me to get my ass kicked. Boo. It's like I'm gonna cut all your fucking heads off. <laughs> What's the deal with wrestlers doing that? They like get so yeah. They gotta mean. play the role. Like I'm gonna jump into that crowd and I'm gonna fucking murder gonna every single one of them you. All. It's like, oh okay. I was just booing you because that guy next to me was booing you. I don't know. I don't know who you are. I imagine some people get lost in the role. You or, have to. Or yeah, they're just like, you really hate me, don't you? Well, I'm gonna actually kill you. I do say I, I love the people that all they they're like wrestling is so fake and I'm like, okay, it might be fake in it's the same way that reality TV is fake. You know, like it's scripted, it's got an idea. You could put all the padding you want on a folding chair, you're still not going to want to get fucking smashed yeah. with it. You know, and pretty much everyone involved is just a a biological anomaly in how like huge and muscular they are. Yeah, and sometimes you know, like, they just go crazy. <laughs> Like, I don't care how fake it is. If you want to put, like, prime rock, like, 1997 Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, yeah. If you're just going to give him, like, 15 minutes in a ring with a judge and me, I don't care how fake it is. I don't want to be in that ring. No, it's true. Yeah. Like, it's going to, even the fakeness is going to be painful. They're going to whoop my ass. Dude, who's the guy with the wide-brimmed hat who always wore the, the, the eyeliner? The was it the Undertaker? Yeah, dude, that guy is like seven feet tall. I get him confused. I know there's like Triple H and the under Triple H. No, Triple is H different. is the long haired blondie boy. He looks like he's from uh, he looks like an Aussie. Yeah, he kind of does. Yeah, the Undertaker. He's got, uh, who, which one isn't one of them like a congressman or like a a local senator now? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm gonna look that one up because I remember reading something about. I know that there's some like, wrestler. Uh, the guy from uh, School of Rock, the what was his name? The guy in the band who did, who had the, uh, the the shirt that was just sleeves. What was his oh, name? Snake. What? His name was Snake. I think he has like some sort of official like government job. <laughs> Hi, I'm Snake. The also, president. the old bassist to Nirvana. He was like a congressman. Yeah, I do know that it, he. Uh, what did he do? I don't know if he still does it though. I don't know, but it's amazing. Either way. Oh uh, yeah, yeah no, and then. We all know Jesse Ventura. He was in. He was in uh, politics. Right? He was. We all yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah. Um. There's Frog a shit man. ton of them. We got Abraham Lincoln was a wrestler. That that can't be right. Of course, you didn't know that. Was he? Is that true? He's he's like in the wrestling hall of fame. No way. He kicked ass. Abe, you you mean yes, the, the Abe president? Lincoln? He like was such an ass kicker. He was so good at it, and then he just became a lawyer and president. Damn, you didn't know? I can't believe you didn't know that. I that that's a very interesting fact. <laughs> Dude, he would kick people's asses. You know, I actually awesome. I was just reading this thing. They're doing like there's some historian like digging into the history of Abraham Lincoln, and it turns out Abe Lincoln might have been gay. Yeah, but yeah. And, like, I've been reading about that, and I was like, that is crazy. He just refused to have sex with his wife. Again, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. Maybe he just didn't like his wife. Maybe she sucked. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe he was sleeping around on the side. Who knows, you know? I also imagine the president, uh, it's kind of a stressful job. Maybe you want to hone in on that rather than other aspects of your life. Who knows? I also, he may have been gay, but who cares either there's way? There's been 45 presidents, well, 46 now. I would venture a guess and say that all forty-six of them have cheated on their wives. Yeah, like there, I would, I would almost bet my life savings on that. It's you're the president, <laughs> you know. Like, 
<laughs> your life savings. I would bet everything I own that I would need proof that a president was completely faithful to their spouse. Because I just truly do not believe that. No, probably not. I don't think there would be any uh, amount of evidence for them being faithful that would convince me. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know? here, here's a picture of them at their wedding. It's like, well, it a lot of nothing. people have that. that, but... just, that just, that's the beginning of being unfaithful. Oh, but today we're not talking about unfaithful presidents doing sexually explicit acts. No. However, we might learn something about that. I don't know. I didn't think I'd learn that Abe Lincoln was a wrestler. So, you know, yeah. you just have to be ready for whatever life throws at you Very today. Very good wrestler, possibly gay. He was shot in the head. We're going to discuss some very, very, very gruesome torture ideology, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah. Is, that's really the word. Or just some use. stuff, you know. Yeah, just uh, different means of hurting people. It's true. Techniques. Uh, I'll even share mine at the end, my personal. <laughs> my The ones you came up with on your own? Yeah. No, I, I have come up with a couple just for the purposes of, like, Mostly just like, could you imagine if this was happening? And if it did happen, it's like it's the perfect torture method. Jesus. So we'll, you know, we'll talk about that later. But we'll, we're gonna have some. I guess you'd call it fun. But if you, <laughs> if you're afraid of being tortured or the idea of torture, it will not be that fun. I promise. No, probably you. not, because we're, we're just gonna be running through possible things that would hurt you. Yeah, there's a lot of things out there, and a lot of times, there's torture methods that uh. They require almost nothing physical that are just as horrendous as the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have some real fun. So get ready. Uh, I don't know if you guys drink like Dr. Pib or something, but crack yourself a nice Dr. Pib and make yourself a plate of... Some sort of beverage. Uh, maybe some Tostitos uh, tortilla chips. Yeah. With some shredded cheddar melted on top. Maybe get some v- Velveeta in there. Yeah, and then just like, you know, open that Mr. Pib, take a nice refreshing sip. Let the carbonation tickle your insides, and then uh, get ready to, you know, see what some things uh, occurred in this world. That's good. You know, tickle the insides, that actually leads into a good one. Uh, the the uh, rat torture. This one's called, We Stab You Until You Die. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I got the bad one this oh, time. Oh, shit. Oh, the rat torture. Yeah, yeah, rat torture, man. It was. Uh, I mean, that's some old. That's that's like if anyone that's familiar with torture, you guys are probably. It's a, it's an old it like uh, mirrors. Yeah, it's an old classic. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't <laughs> I think of that? That's what you're saying to yourself right now. Pretty much, it's the Roman Catholic uh, thing, right from uh, from uh, the Elizabethan era. Basically, they would just uh, put uh, you know a little rat on someone's stomach. And then put some sort of metallic, uh, you know, casing over it, some, like a bowl, maybe a bowl, a mixing bowl. Uh, and then they would slowly heat up that bowl, so the rat would try to escape. And what do you know? The only way out is through your intestines. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like the. I don't know if you guys ever like went to like I don't know maybe a state or county fair. And they have those games where the, there's that giant wheel, and they let the mouse run around, and it picks the hole, and whoever gets that number wins the prize. Yeah. It's exactly like that game, but it's be- it's worse for both things involved. Because not only, yeah, PETA, we hear you, the rat is being tortured. I mean, I understand that. You know, we got to cover all the bases here. But you're, let me just put, I mean, think of the way... When you think of the way you open a bag of Doritos, okay? <laughs> We're talking a lot about chips. That is the same way that this rat is going to open your stomach. It's just going to tear and poke and prod, and it's gonna it's gonna get in there. You know, it's getting in. It's get, yeah, with its little teeth, the little teeth maybe the size of I don't know uh, a sheet of acid or something. But they're getting in there. They're 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 gonna burrow. They're going to hurt you. They're going to figure it out. Apparently, it would last uh, a few hours. That's funny. I was just going to ask. I was like, what kind of timeline are we looking at here for this death, you know? Yeah. Not only are you getting like a burn ring around your stomach, but inside of that burn ring, there is going to be a rat that is going to be either eating or just scrambling inside of your insides, poking at it with its little toes. Uh, You're going to die. But it'll take a long time. So you have a lot of time to answer the questions that these fine people might have. I always found kind of, I found myself asking why they decided to do this. Because I, 
I get the ideology. It's very creative. I definitely understand the idea of like, okay, Jake has something that he won't tell me that I want to know. If I torture him, he'll tell me. But with something like this, why would you ever think you're getting a positive answer? I assume the people would think that they would answer the questions before it got to the point where the rat was burrowing inside of them. But once that started, it's like, all right, we could stop it right now and I can pull that rat out. Like once it's in there, you know, it's head. But once the tail disappears inside there, I think they're they're pretty much... It's like you're you, you're done. Wouldn't you? Uh, maybe this is just me being paranoid. Wouldn't you be a little suspect of what anybody has to say in a situation like that? Because I know that I would say almost anything I needed to say, whether it was true or untrue, just to be like, "Can you remove this rat from my stomach?" Oh place? no, you better tell the truth. Because if they stop and they find out that that wasn't true, you got some other shit coming your way. I guess that's true. Or just more rats. You would really. Yeah, if you found your, there are probably countless people that found themselves at the end of this predicament. I guess you could say, for lack of a better word, quite the pickle. And it's not. I don't. I'm glad that it's it, realistically. It really wouldn't continue today because it's like, you know, you got to find a guy that's going to handle a rat and like all that. Most people don't want to deal with that. So you're okay on the paranoia scale. You should be at about a one for this because you don't really need to worry about this happening. Too much prep time, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> it just makes it that much more terrifying when someone actually has to go through this because it's like, this guy had all this stuff ready for me. It's true. It's kind of sweet also. It's like, for me? It's so, it's it's sobering so, for wow. sure. You're just sitting there like, wow, this guy did so much work and he's going to have <laughs> so much cleanup just to deal with this. But all right, say you've been, you've been abducted. Uh, this guy wants answers. This happens, you you tend to answer him before the, the tail has disappeared inside of your stomach of the rat, and uh, he goes and checks checks your facts, he stops it, you know, he goes and checks your facts, he finds out you lied. What does he do now? He doesn't really have many backup plans. He starts foot roasting. Okay, He starts this? foot roasting. It's a method of torture used in ancient times. Uh, it takes advantage of the extremely sensitive uh, soles of your feet to heat. The Romans would immobilize the prisoners, and uh, they they pressed red hot iron plates to the soles of their feet. Their feet, yeah. It was very popular in the Spanish Inquisition. That a lot of shit came from the Spanish Inquisition when it came to torture. That is interesting because I read uh, I I was reading about one called the licking. It's really not that exciting. It's just licking, licking huh? And it was the. The Han Dynasty used to use it, and they would cover your feet in salty water, and then they would just let a goat start licking your feet. Because it would leave no bruise, but the longer it licked, the more it would hurt, and it would start to feel weird. And after a <laughs> prolonged... it would hurt? Why would... Because they got rough tongue. It's like a cat, you know, like uh, a cat's tongue. Like, it's not super nice. Is it like a nice. shark's skin or something, too, maybe? And it's just with the salt, the mixture of salt and the constant friction, it starts to burn your feet. And it, Damn, that's creative. It, yeah, because they apparently they would use it on like royalty, because you know you couldn't really beat the <laughs> shit out Dude. of like a royal person. Yeah. So you'd torture them and leave no bruises. So you'd just no, lick that's them. That's nice. That's nice. You know, you want to hear a funny one that I heard about uh, royalty punishment? Tickle torture. <laughs> this one's this... just called murder. <laughs> it's. They would just. It, it, it's said to have been used to. Uh, abuse, dominate, harass, humiliate, or interrogate people. But it was mainly used for for the royal the royalty. Because, yeah. again, it didn't leave marks, it didn't do anything, and, it, and they could just uh, recover pretty quickly. But it was an actual thing, tickle torture. Tickle. Dude, my, my dad used to tickle us as, like, a, ch- a child, and he would call it tickle torture. I thought it was just something he made up. He was actually holding. It was actual torture memories. that I was going through. It. He's like, I had to do this back in. I didn't even realize. I didn't think I'd be doing this again, but here we are, Jake. I'm gonna tickle you until you tell me your secrets. <laughs> he said the goal was to get us to fart, but sometimes we just shit our pants, and then he'd have to deal with it. So it's, I don't know what he was getting out of it, but it, it, apparently, uh, apparently, it would just uh, induce panic. Yeah, I mean, panic is all all it really is. 
the one thing that most people miss about torture, at least, uh, at least the like when you're on, you know, you're looking at documentaries or something, you're kind of not looking at the psychological effects that it has on you, because that's really most of the torture. It's not the physical thing; it's more of the waiting, and you're sitting there, you're like, "What? What are they going to do next? Yeah. When's it coming?" I mean, yeah, obviously the pain is a big player in that, but it's. It's all the anticipation. Yeah, the of build the up pain. to it, knowing it's coming, that's always terrible. <clears throat> Ugh, can you imagine being like waiting to be tarred and feathered? No, that that's a lot more disturbing than they ever let on. Yeah, because in the old cartoon days, definitely. Because <laughs> I just learned that like a few years ago, like how brutal it actually was. They would put searing hot tar onto you, splash you with fucking feathers, and then just tear the tar off once it dried taking all your skin yeah that's fucking crazy it's something like you know and sometimes you... they wouldn't even like rip it off they would just leave you like that and like leave you to do it and in the process you're tearing your own skin off they never really go into the dark side of it. it's more just funny it's like you look like a walking pillow but the it's sad like, reality this is, is feudal european torture walking as a whole is just scary because I mean, you're 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 dumping boiling liquid onto your skin, and then just kind of going on with your day. You know, the hottest shower you'll ever take. It's yeah, no, it's not going to be good. I will have to say this: anything that has to do with like temperature, for some reason, that's always the most extreme for me, dude. Any sort of freezing or burning, it that it's almost scarier than just like we're gonna rip your fingernails off with yeah, a spoon dude, they're using like elements of nature against you it's just like you're just gonna be too close to this natural thing yeah it's i don't know it's scary but, mother nature oh my god do you want to hear probably the most brutal version of like heat torture i do i actually am i'm, right. I'm interested dude all right it, it involves a bowl the brazen bowl b-u-l-l that kind of bowl uh, right uh-huh. Uh, apparently in ancient Greece, in like uh, Athens and all that, they uh, they had some guy. It was a uh, it was Phalaris the tyrant of Akraga. All right, okay, so he, he sounds like a Viking. <laughs> I have that... No idea what he he did. I just know he was a tyrant, and he had this guy design a bowl made of fucking just metal. It was brass basically, and um, it was it was hollow, right? Okay. And so they would put people inside of it, and uh, there was a fire underneath it. So, it's so just, they would they would close it up, and it's a lot just of times an elaborate cooking pot, pretty That's much, it, and it's like, just an elaborate <laughs> slow cooker. So they would put people inside this like brass fucking bowl. There was a, a fire underneath, and this would oftentimes be at like at like dinners and shit, and like rich people are like, "Oh, this is great," and uh, <laughs> out the front, like in the mouth of the bowl, like statue thing. Smoke would be coming out, and you could also hear noises from the person, but, like, the tubes in the bowl were made in such a way that it sounded like the noises a bowl might make, and there's just smoke coming from its mouth. And oftentimes, the people that would be put in there uh, would have their, their, like, tongues either cut out or just burned with iron, so it would just swell up or they wouldn't be able to use their tongues basically well i guess you're prepared you know yeah but it's basically something to, they just put them inside of a bowl to slowly roast them until they were like charred and uh guess who was the first person to die from one of these uh that's a good question i don't know if i can answer it it's the guy who fucking made it because wow. he, he designed it and then Flores the tyrant was like we got to make sure it works and he just shoved him in there he's like this works really well <laughs> that is such a. Isn't that crazy? That's a dick move. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say I'm surprised. If you're being commissioned to create a torture device for somebody, you might have suspect intention anyway. You know? No, you're right. You're right. Oh, we got we got another guy With in Georgie. this house right now. Georgie, you were not here, so I want you to chime in on this, okay? Yeah. We're talking about something called the Brazen Bull. Can you, brazen Bull. You t- oh, he's, he's, he's giving us a one second. Uh, he's t- he gave thing. me the finger and he said, "Put this in the your butthole." Finger. Um, yeah, the index finger. 
So we were talking about something called the Brazen Bull. What do you think that is? It's, I just want to know. Don't get many the, weeds. Don't get many weeds. No, we're not going to tell what the episode's about? Nope, no weeds. All right, it's a Brazen Bull. What do you think that is? You literally just got here. It's your time to shine. What's going to happen? Also, hello. Yeah, yeah hey, what's up, guys? I haven't seen you in a while, and this is what I get. Just demanding to know what I know about Brazen Bull. Yeah, yeah. Brazen Bull, it sounds super familiar. I'm sure, have you guys talked about this before? I can't say I have, because I, I, I'm not as familiar with it as I thought I was. So, Can I ask questions, or I just have to tell you? I'll give you three questions. Is it a place? No. No, it's not, no. Is it an event? No. It's the centerpiece of a dinner. dinner for rich people. Yeah, it's more of like a... It's like the cornucopia of... It's essentially, <laughs> think of, okay, okay, it's something a rich monster would do to somebody, that's it. That, that, it well, do every time somebody. I think of rich monster, I think of, like, the the world's deadliest game, is that what it's called? In, in a sense, you're getting there a little bit, it's in the the direct direction, I guess. Um, I'm just going to say it's about cereal. Brazen Bowl, doesn't it sound like, you, know, you, you, you got to start your day off with a Brazen Bowl. <laughs> Brazen yeah. bull. Yeah. <laughs> Brazen bull. Well, you said it's like a centerpiece, so I'm like, all right, like a bowl would oh, be. Yeah. <laughs> and then. So, what is it? <laughs> so, the brazen bull is just a hollow bowl made out of metal that you put someone inside of and then burn the bottom of it and cook them. Oh, they did that in Saw. They did, did do they? that. Did they do that in Saw? One before the last one, I think. Damn. Wait, so Saw 7? No, it wasn't Saw 7 Jigsaw. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know they anything about Saw. They did it in the Saw. Saw. That's crazy. I, uh, but yeah, they would just uh, roast people alive inside of a big bowl. Well, that's sweet. That is sweet. But yeah, we're doing an episode on torture, if you couldn't, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, to you listeners out there, if you had no idea, <laughs> this is what we were doing. <laughs> I have uh, to say... Yeah. I think the idea of torture is dumb, to say the least. Uh, It serves no real purpose outside of just bloodlust. I bet you wouldn't say that if I was torturing you. I feel like I I would somehow even even think it more. I'd feel like, why are you torturing me, Jake? (laughs) Jake, no. (laughs) I literally would just tell you what you wanted to know. It's not that nothing's going to happen. No, I wouldn't accept it. I think it's just stupid. I think torture, so like this brazen bull thing. First off, it's so not personal. You know, that takes that. At least if you're going to torture me, I want to have some one-on-one time, you know? Well, you kind of, you know, it kind of softens it for your dinner guests. It because it, 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 that's why you cut out the tongue of the person, so they make just guttural noises that through the mouth of the bull just sounds like a bull. It's it, kind of fun. Yeah, I guess it, it, it can be fun for the right person. But, I mean... The fact that the guy who built it was put inside of it and just cooked alive, that's just sad. Well, yeah, but it that's was done by... Uh, I don't want that to... Can you imagine, like... I don't, have we done that for anything else, I wonder? What? <laughs> All right, you've invented the guillotine. Now hop up. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Let's <laughs> check your work. I'm going to demonstrate. Give me a, yeah, give me a demonstration. Let me see what this is going to look like. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Pe- people get I'd boiled and shit. It's crazy. I can't wait. I can't wait to tell you guys what I would do because it's good. It's good. Why can't you just tell us now? <laughs> no, I want to see. Is, it, is today's episode? Uh... Excuse me. Is today episodes uh, torture devices? Yes, torture just cool. in general. Dude, you know what is a cool device? It's not really a torture device, but do you remember when we read that Agatha Christie book? Ten little, not ten little Indians. And then there were none? Yeah. Dude, you remember the end when the guy who killed everybody had that little like, contraption and he shot himself in the head, but it like launched the gun on the other side of the room, so it made it look like it wasn't him? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. That was that was so ahead of its time. He had like you know, a good spring Reading that book revolver. in like middle school or some shit, I'm like, aren't we a little young for murder novels? I remember, yeah, we read that short story, The Lottery, in middle school too, about like... Dude, the- I reread that and I was like, we... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we were 
young children listening. Yeah, and then we beat them to death with a with rocks just because they had the winning ticket. Like, like they won the prize, so we just tortured them in front of the rest of society. And everybody had so many questions because there was like no context. It just ended. She's like, "You animals!" And then she we didn't even see her die, and then it just ended. Yeah, I like to think she like fought back, like kind of just went berserk. And just started ravaging the town and burning it down. I think that's... I think that'd be hard to do when you're getting pelted with rocks (laughs) by a lot of people. I remember that time you hit me in the head with a rock. (laughs) It was a rock fight. (laughs) We were playing rock tag. This is how hillbilly we were. Jesus. And Grant. We had nothing better to do. We were like seven <laughs> years old. We were just like, let's hit each other with rocks. Grant was being a fucking asshole because I was hitting this guy nonstop. But I kept hitting his chair. I'm a big target, you know? I'm a big target. You <laughs> so have to soften he the blow. Said, yeah, he said you have to hit me. And this happened like a dozen times. So I was like, fine. And I fucking picked up a rock and I threw it right at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I remember that. Uh, and I said, there. Now you're it, bitch. <laughs> and then we had to go to the hospital. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. There's big gaps in my memory. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't remember that. It's like, oh, yeah, that was unrelated, I think. So Georgie tortured Grant. Because Stony is torture. Stony is torture. Yeah, Stony is like. That's how you get everyone involved. That's how yeah, you get Yeah, it's kind of a fun people. activity. It's a family thing. Like when we used to throw like rotten tomatoes at people, you know? Yeah. It's it's a family event. Everybody gets together, you put your Sunday best on. And yeah, then, back in the 1920s, it's like, oh, I don't like this show. Good thing I brought these fucking apples. You just shame people. You just like Game of Thrones style, just shame. Yeah. There was some shame. rat torture in uh, Game of Thrones. That yeah. rat stuff. Oh, yeah. There was, there was a lot of torture when they cut that guy's penis off. Yeah, and then like genital mutilation. Yeah, that'll happen. But you yeah, know what? Yeah, that will happen. Uh, it, it, like the one of those the most pivotal inventions, the wheel. Is that when they stretch it? The wheel, the breaking wheel. So they would just like they would just tie you to it and just break your arms and legs and then spin it so your like weight would shift onto the different fractures and shit. And a lot of times it was done in like public squares, so people were stoning them at the same time. And sometimes there was a fire lit underneath it. So there was just all these, it was just firing on all cylinders. Yeah. I like that. See, but when, with new inventions comes new methods of torture. <laughs> it's just a wheel. <laughs> I mean, you think about it. <laughs> yeah, we started yeah, hooking people with the battery. Up we started car batteries. shocking them, electroshock weaponry. Or you think, like, when we started having music that you could take home with you. We started doing sound torture where it was just like, we're going to break you by making you listen to this for 48 <laughs> hours nonstop on repeat. Dude, they did that in uh, Walking Dead yeah, you, with Daryl. Yeah, they did. Like, <laughs> you're on easy street. <laughs> they, 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 oh, God. It would be good, terrible. It's a good way of torturing somebody without touching them. You no, know? You're right. You're right. Like fart torture? Do you think that's a thing? It really depends on how you feel about so farts. Well, yeah, I guess there is a there, uh, there is a porn person, category surrounding you have to get farts. Get someone that doesn't like farts. <laughs> They're just be like, now we got them. <laughs> but if you enjoy it, that's just heaven. It's just like you're stuck in this room. Well, I don't think we can do this episode without talking about the rack. Like boobs. Yeah. Like what kind of boob racks? Or like the country Iraq? Which one? Like boobs Let's talk or about the all country? these things. Let's talk about all of them. No, the rack, the thing that stretches you. You're oh, just on oh, a rack. Oh, okay. The wheel, that's what I okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Here. Oh yeah, dude. All right, let's 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 discuss this. Yeah, the rack. You'd basically just sit there on a rack with uh <laughs> with your arms and legs tied to either end there, and there would just be a crank that would slowly uh, pull your your shit apart. Remember in the Simpsons slow snaps, slow when they cracks. did that to Millhouse and he just got taller? Yeah, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and he's like, I can play basketball now. <laughs> he's just walking around with, like these goofy-ass arms. Well, yeah, so we got the rack. It's so, not, <laughs> That's really all there is to the rack. It just fucking tears your shit open. Well, no, see, I think the thing with the rack is that we're not talking about is it's really the dealer's choice of how far it goes, you know? Yeah, you could just you could literally dismember them with this. Oh, you could, or you could just go just enough to where it hurts, but it doesn't really do anything other than just become painful. That's the <laughs> slow burn. There's some point, 
There's got to be some point of the rack where you're just like, oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait, stop right there, stop right there. Oh. Because, yeah, I'm sure you're cracking all your joints. Probably feels great. Yeah, like, it, it, you could really stop them wherever you want, or you could go, like, really far and just kind of <laughs> leave them. They're like, can you go, like, a little bit more and just end it? And he's like, you're going to stay here for a couple days. So is it like a, an appendage thing? It's just arms and legs? Or can you do, like, individual fingers or a head or m- maybe a, a male member? A male member? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you yeah, could... Man, that really just depends on, like, the, the carpenter. Like, I... if you make it that way, why not? You I could pull like you anything. Don't, you don't really need the crank for that. You kind of just do that with like your hands, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. What is it like? Seven pounds of force can like you could just take someone's ear off. <laughs> you, you could rip someone's ear off. Yeah. So I imagine you could just rip off a penis pretty easily. I know they say you could bite off your finger. It's the same consistency. Yeah, of like a carrot. a carrot. That's crazy. But uh, I really same don't with balls. That. That's supposedly like grapes. I feel like you. Could, they could just say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is a scientific comparison, Georgie. See, I don't trust the science behind that because you could just make these blanket statements and no one would ever believe you because, first off, anyone that bites their own finger off voids their voice being heard. So, like, no one's going to listen to that guy. It's not as easy as biting into a carrot, I swear. No one's going to listen to him. (laughs) There has to be much more follow-through. It's like an onion ring. Yeah. You you don't want to pull the rest out of the case. Like, no one... You could just make these statements. You're like, it's as easy to open up someone's skull as it is to open a bag of chips. Who's going to test that theory? (laughs) Because if you get caught and it really is that easy, you're going to jail. Yeah, yeah. All right. uh, Speaking of foods... What do you think the pair of anguish is? The pair? The pair, like P-E-A-R. Why am I just thinking of like a pear or any type of fruit that you just eat with like, you know, handheld fruit? That that is, And you just shove a bunch of razor blades into it and say, all right, eat it. (laughs) That's like some Halloween shit. (laughs) Eat it. (laughs) Uh. I'm not that hungry. It's like, (laughs) eat it. It's like, no, you have to be hungry. I had a big lunch. uh, (laughs) I'm not interested in the pair of anguish. All right, but basically, it's like a it's this pear shaped thing with uh, that like breaks apart and it kind of fans out, and it has this uh, this handle at the end of it with like a crank. So the more you crank it, the more it fans out. Okay. And so you shove it, depending on what you're punishing them for. You either put it in their ass, you put it in the vagine, or you put it in the throat, and then you just you just crank it until. Until it's it's bad. So it's like a reverse vice. Yes. Like, it, it works the same as a vice grip, but it's it's mostly the opposite effect. It just expands things. I and mean, a lot of the times, much like with uh, Bob Berdella and his uh, his fisting adventures, uh, it, would, it would tear people's fucking tissue, and that would just cause uh, some shit to set in. You'd die pretty, pretty slowly. Yeah, you know, it, it's... Uh, the asshole is a very easy thing to tear. I don't think people understand how common it is for pregnant women to just have their vagina torn all the way down to the butthole. And that's it's just what happens. It's you just know? a thing that happens, yeah. Like, you got to stitch it back up. It's just, it happens. So it's each, life. each uh, you know, newborn baby is a little pair of anguish. I mean, you could say that. It could be that way. You could say that. See, now that would be really cool. Time is the crank. That would be cool with technology. And you know why? Because you could almost make it like a pill-sized thing now and have them swallow it, right? And it'd be controlled by Bluetooth. And they wouldn't even know what was going on, but you could just make it bigger whenever you wanted. It'd be... It's the pair of anguish <laughs> in the 21st thing. century. <laughs> Look at this thing, though. It'd be like the new diet program. Yeah, it could. The well, new yeah. diet program. Yeah, swallow the pill. <laughs> Swallow this magical pill until it hurts your body. <laughs> That's my new workout method. Yeah, the pair of anguish. It's just a spreader. Okay. Spreads. I mean, to be honest, though, if you guys have watched pornography, they still use that because that exists. I've seen it. <laughs> what kind of videos are you watching? <laughs> it's not like for pain. It's just like, you know, I've se- you've never seen that? Come on. I mean, I've never been to a gynecologist's office, but they have some type of spreading apparatus. Some sort of thing. Yeah. I don't think it's a, it's a pear, oh, though. The pear of anguish. Yeah, like where they put the they fluoride like, on yeah, it. Yeah, they fucking crank your mouth open. You're like, ah. 
<laughs> like hold it open. You're like, I can't. You're like not. spitting on yourself, and they're like, How you doing? You gotta go. Uh-huh. <laughs> here, here I'm good. Yeah, you here. Stick a fucking vacuum, jam that in your throat. Do you think <laughs> dentists are just like fuck these people? Still jamming you with sharp things and <laughs> you know what would be like not funny but super <laughs> funny is if you got the, like you go to a dentist on April Fools right. And you just he's got you in that thing with your mouth open, he just walks in, he's like, Oh, excuse me, where's the suction? He just pulls out a gun and <laughs> yeah. just puts it in your mouth, he's like, Are you ready? You're just like, Oh no, please, please He's like, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh dentist Don't really... go to that dentist. <laughs> I kinda wanna get my dental license just so I could just do like, this. Uh, it's like, Oh, oh I got you. That's not toothpaste, that's just rubber a gun cement. In your mouth. <laughs> Oh, you're, God. You're, you're going to die. Uh, all right, next one. Breast Ripper. What do you think that is? Oh, it's some type of breast ripper. It's going to take the breast and remove them. You're not wrong. It's also called the Iron Spider. <laughs> it's, it's basically just very... Uh, Ooh, it's like a pincher. Very sharp yeah, looking... Like yeah, they're like sharp tongs. You guys basically, they been... would just kind of like... They would they would clamp it around the breasts and then they would, they would push them. You guys ever been to, like, a Benihana? You know, like, they cook in front of you and shit? It's like when you get the chopsticks, but they're, like, the cheater chopsticks, you know? Oh, the ones that are, like, yeah. That's kind of what this looks like, but it's just for boobs. But it's got spikes going inward where you where you close it. It's like a fork chopstick, you know? But yeah, they'd have, uh, they'd have women just kind of stand there. They'd put it in there, clamp it, and then they'd push the women over. So the, uh, the boob would either just come off or it'd be shredded. God, that just seems... For some reason, torturers back in the day had, like, a super... They, like, honed in on, like, breasts when it came to women. Well, because let's face it, uh, humanity, we've always been pretty perverted. We You're st- right. Like, I mean, we, you know, we, we come on. Everybody likes boobs. I mean, that's just kind of what happens. I don't like when they get shredded, but yeah. Well, like, pork. It's like cheese. Yeah, like it's pulled better pork. when it's shredded, you know? Carnitas. Hi, I'd like an order of the pulled barbecue boob, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, that, uh, is that for here to go? Okay. Uh, then we got the thumb screw. <laughs> it's just a fucking vice that you put your hand in. Oh, so just a vice? It's just a vice. <laughs> they tried it, to give it a cool It looks name. way older. <laughs> there you go. It looks That's, like something like an optometrist's office. Yeah, it's not good. Is it better here? Or better here. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, uh, see, I always, I always laugh because like the guy I went to, he would always say like here or there, not one or two. So he'd be like, is it better here or is it better there? And like as a kid, I didn't know what but to say. But then he would so. hang on the second one, so if you said here, he would think like, oh, there. Yeah, and no, it's exactly. like, what? <laughs> so like, I would just be like, uh, here, and he's like, oh, okay, okay, just like, like super soft. I'm like, can you just like. All right, which one's better? This one, this one is like, is it better here? Or is it better there? Is it better here? <laughs> <laughs> or is it better there? You don't need, they're, they're the same. And then he'd put my like, hand right, in the right. thumb screw and <laughs> <laughs> my doctor's visit would be over. Place me on the rack. I, uh, yeah, see, I want to know, like, who came up with these ideas? Because I feel like there's such easier ways. Maybe I'm just lazy, but there's so many easier ways to torture somebody than this. There's a lot of just fucked up nobility. And, you know, there wasn't any, like, Seinfeld back then, so they needed to fill their time up with something. I guess, yeah, you had to test it on something. I had tested on, like, a deer just because they're, they're big enough to where, you know, if you did damage to a deer, it would it would correlate to a person, you know? What? Like, think of a... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, what? You got to test these on something, you know? You're not going to test it on people immediately. But they're probably throwing, like, <laughs> the rats. The guy who did the brazen bull did. Yeah, well, that guy is stupid. No, he's... <laughs> it's immediate results. That guy was enlisted to really just kill himself. Like, they paid him money to kill himself. That's that's the end goal. How strange. They'd essentially be like, hey, Jake, I will. you should build me this giant spear so you could use it on yourself for my pleasure. And you're just like, I'll get right okay. On. Yeah, perfect. Like, <laughs> that's the end of the show. We had Jake kill himself yeah. for my pleasure. A wonderful little project. But, yeah, 
Okay. Okay. What yeah. else? What other torture devices we what got? What else we got here? We got the uh, we got the we got the Iron Maiden. All oh right. yeah, they just you know, blast this, that music in your ears until you want to kill yourself. It's badass, yeah. But uh, the Iron Maiden is apparently a uh, it's a little sort of like sarcophagus sort of thing, a little, little coffin kind of in the shape of uh, the human being. And so, sometimes yeah. they were like they were made to look like uh, the Virgin Mary for some reason. They have spikes inside. Yeah, they had spikes inside, and they were they were very like meticulously placed so they would pierce each major major organ, including your eyes. So, but what they were, but they weren't very long. What if you were like a short? They're like I imagine you could adjust make, the spikes. We're gonna make a brand new Iron Maiden just for you. It's like <laughs> you're gonna have you to stand wait on a, month. a stool, you know. <laughs> make it wait a month, then you're gonna die. Yeah, the Iron Maiden dude. They would just close the doors, out go your eyes, out go all your your organ fluids, and they weren't very long, so they wouldn't like immediately kill you. It would just be enough to puncture, so you'd just kind of leak to death. Yeah, you just Ed pop Kemper the style. balloon, you know. Yeah. I'm okay. So with that's that. the Iron Maiden. That's where the band got their name. Isn't that fun? Oh. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's that's heavy. That is heavy. What else we got? We got the pillory. The pillory was just that thing. It was just a piece of wood with three holes in it. You put your hands. You put your head. Uh, yeah, it's just a way to keep you there. You're standing in the middle of a uh, crowd of people. You're on a you're on a little stand there. People are throwing shit at you. You're the town drunk or the dunce. Like that's really. Anything else that you've done is going to require death, essentially, in these times. Yeah. So as long as you're just drunk or stupid, they'll just put you in one of those and yeah. like, stay there for a couple hours. Yeah. But just like tarring and feathering, like this was way more brutal than like we were all led to believe because people would... It w- you were in the hands of the public, and if it was like a busy time of day and people like heard what you did and didn't like it, they could do whatever the fuck they wanted. Like They could just cut your Achilles tendon as you're standing there, throw some rocks at you, fucking light a fire underneath your ass you, they just didn't leave maybe i'm maybe i'm just looking at this with a future lens but i bet you a lot of sodomy occurred in those situations like i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't doubt it. it like probably arguably too much sodomy if if that's even the thing I don't think <laughs> any amount is, is good but there was just too much okay like i mean to a point where that was all that was probably happening because you know people, and you know people don't change, right? A lot of the time. Duh. So, yeah, you just got to assume that terrible things are going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. That is like, that's a little bit more of a brutal torture because you don't know what you're getting. You know, like, you can yeah, there's hear... There's no way to, like, You know. hear the stories of all these other tortures, and you're like, okay, I, I at least have an idea... This is just random. You just have to hope that you're likable, you know? Yeah. This Maybe torture is schmooze. basically just like a, a random torture grab bag. So Who, whoever just wants want. to go, just at a whim. Maybe someone, maybe a really sadistic bastard is on vacation, and you just happen to be in the wrong spot, you know? Yeah. Could happen. It, it's happened to everybody. Even me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, explains it. What do we got here? What else we got? We got the iron chair. All right, it was just a chair with a bunch of fucking spikes in it. Well, that's not even it's original. Just, it's just so many spikes. It's just lined with spikes. They're not very deep. They're not very sharp. But they would have, like, straps that would just, like, you know, press you tighter and tighter as you went there. And, and, and you wouldn't bleed very much. You wouldn't die until you got up. And then you'd probably bleed and die you know how you know how many times somebody probably made the joke they're like you can take a seat now <laughs> like, and take they a seat. Just, they why don't just, you just take a seat <laughs> that was the bee's knees to them like they were the funniest guy in the kingdom when that happened for like, that day take a load off did you hear old Derek of barnchester say take a seat yesterday <laughs> I don't know. They all had like weird. He's the titles. Mark Twain of our era. He's like who? He is the ultimate comedian. Oh, that's yeah. Humor was different back then. I think. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we. I don't know. We got a lot of stuff going on here. We got saws. We got scalping. We got. We got pliers. Denailing. You're just taking people's nails out. Maybe with the pliers. Or the bamboo. That's the contemporary. Or the version. bamboo. Yeah. 
That's Not the good. new age torture method. We got combing, which is just metal combs that were used for like uh, sheep and shit, but you would just drag it across people's skin until it just frayed like uh, pulled pork. <laughs> they just took like a curling iron to your arm. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Have a nice hair day. <laughs> just like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Your dick. job in the dungeon would just be coming up with lines for the torturer to say. Yeah, you gotta have puns, like when you're doing <laughs> the thing. Like, All right, you're you're my ideas man. I don't do any of the torturing. I just make sure it goes smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we got kneecapping. Pretty self-explanatory. We got uh, what do we got else? Uh, what else we got? Dunking. Michael Jordan? Dunking, just like Michael Jordan, yes. What's uh, that? What's that? All right, let's see what it is. Let's... Yeah, it looks like they would just dunk people in rivers for long periods of time with uh, weights on them and then bring them back up like, you going to talk? And then if they even if they were like, yes, they just dunk them back down there again. And uh, it, was, it was used a lot in... Uh, yeah, it is kind of like baptism, Georgie. You're right. You just have to drink really fast. Yeah. I remember that being used on, like, fucking uh, in the Salem witch trials, right? When yeah, they, when they, they dunk the, the winches. Chairs, though. Yeah. No, yeah, that's... Look at this little drawing here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Look at yeah. that. Isn't that fun? It's so stupid. It's so, like, yeah. just put them in there. Why do you need a whole chair? It's interesting. Drowning and you want uh, them, dunking You should put them on the spiky things. chair and do that at the same time. <laughs> in shark infested water, they'll talk way faster. And it's all gasoline, and then they <laughs> light you on <laughs> fire. Acid rain. <laughs> oh, not even sunny outside. Like just it's everything's like, bad. Just, nothing's good about this. <laughs> it's all bad. Oh god! All right, we got uh, what do we got? We got walling. Uh, it's a method of torture used by the CIA in which a person's neck is encircled by a collar. And then it's used to slam the person against the wall. That, again, so seems they just, like unnecessary steps. Yeah, you could just do that with your hands. <laughs> it's just like, no, we need an apparatus to slam them against this wall with. I guess it makes it easier for the torturer, you know? Yeah, if, if it's just a matter of a lever. Yeah, no, I can see that. But, you know, you're going to have to go to the gym afterward. This, If you do it the old-fashioned way, you can just get it all in. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Are we going to talk about the James Bond torture where his balls were exposed and they were just hitting him with, like... Yeah, with just a... Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was bad. That would be bad. That's good, though. That, that's See, that's back to my psychological torture. That's, like... It's almost nothing. You know, it's like, oh, you're just getting hit in the balls. But at that moment, it's everything. Dude, and then he was going to the genital mutilation uh, place where he, he just kicked him over and he just pulled out a knife. Yeah. And then what do you know the day was saved? But still, it could have been no balls bond. Wouldn't There's still a lot hilarious? of places that mutilate genitals today. That's just part of life, Isn't sadly. Isn't that awful? What are you going to do about it? We're going to waterboard them. You know what that is. Everyone oh, knows yeah. what waterboarding is. Guantanamo made that famous, right? Waterboarding well, I don't know about it. it you know, it, it, I know it was used in Guantanamo. It definitely made it like uh, contemporary knowledge, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's one. That's really the one torture method you could mention to anybody, and they're they're kind of aware of what it is. Kind of, yeah. But in case anyone doesn't know, it's basically you you're strapped to a board. You have a cloth over your face. You get water poured over your mouth. It simulates drowning. Very scary. Very very bad. Yes. Again, that's psychological because the more you do it, the worse it feels, and you're just like you think you're gonna die. And I'm sure in most of those cases, your chance of death is very high. I don't think they. I don't think they take your safety into account as much as you might want them to. Oh, the torturers? Yeah, they're probably not as sweet and loving as you there think. There needs to be some sort of guild that that uh, that makes sure you're okay. Yeah, like a union when you're being for tortured. torturees. <laughs> it's like we're the torture union. It's like, hey, stop! You're hurting him. It's like you oh, can yeah. you can hurt him all yep. you want, but make sure his life isn't going to be ended. Well, I guess that's the point of torture, though. You know. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, we got crucifixion. Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. That's, Everyone knows that. That's the OG style of torture. You Nail just you watch up. yourself die. Yeah, you pretty much just die of thirst while being very uncomfortable. Yeah, I always thought it'd be cool if they put a big mirror in front of you just so you could watch yourself die. Like, that. It, it's <laughs> such an... 
<laughs> they think of all the time they're taking to make this torture happen. You could add that extra 10 minutes and do that. And it would just be that much sweeter. You, you know? know how hard it is to make a fucking mirror? Especially back then. You're like, yeah, just 10 minutes. Though They used to make that shit out of silver. That's why vampires were said to not be able to be seen in them. It's fine. You got money to make someone crucified. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> like, you could, you could get a mirror. All you, you need know? to crucify someone is two planks of wood and a couple nails. Yeah, And, like, a true. person you don't like. And Yeah, but you know what? I like the idea of the mirror. I like the idea of the mirror too, but it's it's not so simple. What other what other methods of torture do we have? That's it. That's all. Of them. That's it. They're all. <laughs> that's gone. all the torture. We got cutting, crushing, combing, castration, all these things. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Flaying. How about that? Uh, it's known colloquially as skinning. So basically, you're just uh, cutting the skin off of a person. Oh, like flaying? Flay. Like Bobby Flay. Yeah, yeah, flaying someone. Yeah, that's cool. It's, it's, <laughs> that that's is a, cool. That's you know cool, what? It's extended scalping because it's just it's doing that everywhere else, you know? Yeah, I'd imagine they wouldn't start at a place that would kill you. Oh, no, they'd probably start somewhere Souls in like the feet, arm maybe. or leg where it's like there's enough meat down there that it's like you'll bleed, but you'll be okay, you yeah. know? yeah. It's, can you imagine like a potato peeler? That would be worse, because it would just slowly grate away. It's like ow, 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 ow. I'm sure a lot of people who've taken bath salts know what that feels like. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's drugs are drugs are a hell of a drugs. Okay, that's all I have to say. Especially <laughs> things that you could buy or make at like a gas station. Drugs are extremely drug like. Now that some of them can be fun, I imagine, but yeah, bath salt. No. No. No, you're going to skin yourself. Uh, What else we got? We got what we were talking about earlier. Fucking sound. Extremely high volumes, repetitiveness, uh, dynamic range, low frequency, high frequency. All of it's going to be bad if you listen to it for too long. Can you imagine? It's going to make you go crazy. Just a constant high-pitched dog whistle. Like, you probably wouldn't even notice it right away, but... Like, just for days on end, it would drive you insane. No, it fucks with cognition, like, actually. It, it like, fucks you up. It would ruin your evening, to say the least. Can't concentrate on anything. What else we got? Uh, stress positions. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, just, just crouching. For too long, maybe. Uh, <laughs> you need to you know crouch. What? <laughs> it's like, okay, thanks. Submission positions. How about that? That's kind of fun to say. Uh, to place the human body in such a way that a great amount of weight is placed on just one or two muscles. Yeah, that would ooh, that would not be good. Yeah. Or like yeah. make someone stand on their tippy toes only. After a couple hours, you're gonna you're gonna hurt. Dude, a lot of it's kind of the opposite. It's like you just stand on the balls of your feet. And then you squat so that the thighs are, like, parallel with the ground. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like that'd be a good workout. And then after a while... <laughs> and then it would be torture. It would be really bad. But, I mean, I guess, yeah, you're afraid of what happens when you get out of that position. But I feel like they can't really expect you to stay in that position for that long, you know? Oh, yeah. Dude, there's another one. It's separate. It's called the jetliner position. Or it's also known as like the captain's chair. It's ba- I think we did this in fucking uh, gym in like elementary school. This is where you just like you place your back against the wall and then crouch down like you're sitting on a chair, but there's no chair there. Hmm. You know, like this. Yeah, you just like, it's, it's the in, the invisible. I thought chair. that was an exercise, but I guess any exercise for long enough is just torture. I was gonna say it's probably it's probably a really good exercise in moderation. And then in extreme <laughs> like situations, ten seconds at a time. Like, this isn't good. This is bad news. I like that though. The idea of the invisible chair, because then you know when you start getting tired, it's like oh shit. Then you fall asleep, and then they can really torture you. You know, because you're not in their position. <laughs> They'll just stick you in the brazen bowl. That's the name of the game. Is they want you to fail so that they could just do more to you. Yeah, pretty much. You can't let them win. You can't. But they're they're gonna win. <laughs> they're gonna win. They have the power position. They have uh what do we have? We have uh went over walling, we have tooth extraction. 
Pretty that's, self-explanatory. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I would... that. Ugh, yeah, I don't know. You take out the teeth. I feel like that's torture that has lasting effects, because that would definitely not kill you, but you're never eating corn on the cob the same. No, you need a blender. Especially back in the day, like it was really just meat. That's all you had was like meat and wheat. Hey, here's a fun one. Blinding with light. Blinded Dead by, by the, the light. light. Wrapped up like a douche. Blinded me with, me with science. science. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, so you blind people with light. That's fun. That's uh, cool. Dude, <laughs> it doesn't seem practical, but it seems cool. Dude, what was that video we saw of that guy with the extremely long mustache hair? And he was just staring at the sun, and the video was called, like, Sun Staring, Volume 4 or some shit. Yeah, He's like... Sun gazers? Yeah, the sun gazers, they just enjoy looking at the sun. I wonder why. What does that do for you? They're either on drugs or they need drugs, <laughs> because something is not okay. It's like, here's the one thing that we can't... There's a couple rules as people, okay? You have to breathe, you can't live underwater, and you can't stare at the sun. And these fucking people decided that they're going <laughs> to stare at the sun. And you know what? We just don't do that. We just don't. No one does that. You guys want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I do. <laughs> Only well, we talk, we're all talking shit about this, but what was it? Last year or the year before, we were all <laughs> standing outside staring into the sun because there was some kind of eclipse. Yeah, and they're like, you need the special glasses. <laughs> yes. I was like, no, I don't. You need some th- movie theater 3D glasses to see it. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't. I'm just going to stare at Dude, it. They say you could make some like it, like device to look at it with like a cereal box or some shit. And it's like, you like see it sort of. Yeah, like yeah. a colander, maybe. I don't know. I just looked at Staring it. Staring at the sun, fine. you know, you're going to have to do it sometimes. But what else we got? We have enemas. People do that for fun now. Coffee yeah. enemas. And if you're, uh, Energizes you. Hopefully you don't get really constipated because you'll have to take one. I also suppose they could put uh, very harmful materials in the enema. Like know, shards like of glass? Maybe some molten lava. Like sharks. Like small, like <laughs> small sharks. Small baby sharks. <laughs> Freshwater sharks that can live in the anal cavity. Put some anal fresh cavity. sturgeon roe in there and then just baby fish. Just, just all through your bloodstream. Just all through your <laughs> a bunch of crab eggs. <laughs> or just a, a good. snake. Just a single snake. Yeah, just see what he'll he'll rope his way around in there somewhere. <laughs> the ultimate fucking ringworm. Yeah, I do uh, wildlife enemas. It's where I just take things from nature and stick them in my ass. It's actually very, very soothing. It's good for the body. Uh, what else we got? We got impalement. We, we've talked about that on a past episode. With, oh, uh, yeah. Land it goes up through the ain, it comes out through the mouth, maybe out through the chest. Either way, you're not. It doesn't look good for you. Right. Either way, you're having a bad afternoon. I'll tell you that. Yeah, probably not very good. Uh, we got flagellations, just whipping, lots of whipping going on. Uh, what else? Force feeding. That's a fun one. That's my kind of torture. <laughs> Here's this five course of steak dinner. I'm just gonna make you have you to eat, eat it. it. Like, <laughs> I guess. Dang it! <laughs> no, you guys are monsters. Pass the gravy. You guys are monsters. <laughs> I always just think of that fucking Simpsons episode where he's in hell getting fed donuts. He's like, "How about you have all the donuts in the world?" <laughs> he's like, "No." Nope. He just More. keeps eating. More. 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 He's like, "I can't believe it." That'd be. Yeah, that, I guess that would be bad. I have eaten a lot of food to the point where I'm like, all right, let me just have this last bite. Then you eat that last bite, and you're like, that was a bad idea. Like, I I really <laughs> I feel like I'm about to go unconscious right now. Like, yeah. this is bad. I've definitely eaten to the point where I slept f- not five minutes after I left the table. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> you're just dead. And there's a water equ- equivalent to it, too. It's called the water cure. Yeah. Where they just make, they just force you to drink water. Watch Dude, I'm out, pretty Mitch. sure that's, it's gonna, that's how he's gonna go. Jesus. Dude, there was a. <laughs> the there, radio contest? The radio contest? Well, wait, what? wait, what are you talking about? No, oh, yeah, what is this? Remember, it was like, I think we were in high school, but it was uh, all over the radio. It was when the Wii came out, and they were doing like a. Some station was doing a drinking contest, and they had a drink. 
like every hour and not go to the bathroom and then one of the it was like two ladies were at it at the end and one of them died damn something too explo- much water. Yeah, something exploded inside of her she died for a, a shitty game console that got like the worst <laughs> review that no one plays no. anymore <laughs> I'm sorry. In for order your to family. win the Wii, you cannot take a Wii, but you gotta keep drinking. There was like <laughs> there was some sort of like hazing story from like a fret where they just made this guy drink like gallons of water and he just died before he even got like he was rushing some sort of fret. That was like a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah, who wants to be in a fret you know, I've had this conversation before and I'm sure that there are people out there that are gonna be mad at me. But the idea of hazing in a frat is just so ridiculous to me. It's like we're gonna we're a group of men and we're gonna make you do homoerotic stuff to each other so you can hang out with us, the cool kids. <laughs> You're also gonna be paying us money. Yeah, and it's like well, in why? every it's job like, interview that you have with someone who used to be in here, you're just going to reminisce about all the fucking terrible things that you went through. Pretty much, yeah. It's but like, you're going to get the job. That's the only upside. You'll have a job and you'll have connections, but we're going to do things to you you don't want us to do, and we're going to only do that to you because someone did it to me. <laughs> like, it's so petty. <laughs> He's like, what's uh, wrong with you people, man? What's going on? Yeah, frats are, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got, uh, uh, Paria, or Parilla, maybe? It's electrical injury. Uh, it's, a, it's a psychological reaction caused by electrical current passing through the body. Ooh, body passage. So you're just shocking them. Yeah, and pretty you're, much. And you're going crazy. It's not good. And then what, what else we got here? We got stocks. Uh, stocks are restraining devices that were used as a form of corporal punishment in the public humiliation. So it's basically uh, that thing. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the thing you put. <laughs> it's the, thing, the, the fucking piece of wood that you just put your head and hands oh, yeah, in and get yeah, locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you just put your feet in it. That's so dumb. That's, that's all it it's is. like a snowboard it's, it's that a, rides up too high. Yeah, yeah. Clip um, yourself into this. For what reason? Just do it, bitch. I said so. <laughs> is it really yeah, like just do, just it, do bitch. it, bitch. Shut up and just do what I ask, you whore. All right. What else we got? Uh, uh we got the tramp chair. Oh, uh, it was used by the American police in the 19th century as a mild form of torture and the tramp chair and the slut stool, the combination right there. There you go. Yeah, it's in the American Police Hall of Fame. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that that was a thing. That's not great. That's not. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Fuck that. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Well. We what got the t- we? <laughs> we got the tablilius <laughs> the slob tablilius tablilius. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> it's a medieval Spanish technique of torture where you slowly squeeze and crush the toes and fingers uh, by means of pillories and wedges. That sucks. It's like the Chinese foot binding, you know, when they used to like. Yeah, but that's for beauty. Is it for dance? I don't think for it's dan- for dancing. I, I, I always thought that they thought it was just like, oh, small feet are so cute. Yeah, they're like, it's or so something. adorable. My wife cannot move comfortably. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. What else we got? We got rope. <laughs> rope is torturous. <laughs> we got, uh, uh, yeah, rope. Sitting at the BMV. Sitting at the BMV. We got uh, working in general. Uh Traffic. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> what is some other torture? Uh, uh, when you can really hear someone chewing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we got? Guys named Matt. Yeah, yeah guys named Matt. I never met a guy. So let me tell you, my name's Matt, and they're all bad, okay? All of us. Listen, first you got MC up in Chicago. Okay. That guy sucks, right? And well, then, it's me. <laughs> and then you got MS in Boston. <laughs> that guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You know what? You're kind of right. You got MS in Boston. Every. <laughs> yeah, last time I was in Boston, I got an MS. And it sucked. It sucked so what, ass. What other M's do we got? Oh, man. There's... Oh, isn't there a, an MN? Is Mitch's brother Matt? Yeah. yeah. I could never remember. I've known Mitch for 20 years. Yeah, I've known him my whole I life. I never remember his brother's fucking names. I know it's Mikey and... Uh, the We're whole... just going down the family <laughs> yeah, lineage. Yeah. How do you not... You don't remember... It's your name. I don't know how to spell his name either. Or David's last name. I'm a friend. Oh, you're a good friend. Yeah, come to... I don't know how to spell Mitch's last name. I try sometimes, and it's like... It's just the last what? Time. It's just like all alphabet, falls apart halfway it's just through. alphabet soup, like someone spilled on the floor. So that's how you say my name. It's like, <laughs> it's like what? I didn't know there was three Q's and an X in it. I'm like, fuck that. Okay. Yeah, Jordy, your your last name is crazy. Yeah, you have a funky. Mine's like simple, but no one knows how to say it. Wahelin. <laughs> Wahelin. <laughs> Everyone calls it says Waylon. I'm like, no. Like you're Smithers. wrong. Waylon Smithers, no. Uh, my last name, they call me Braddock. Braddock? <laughs> they're like, Bra- they're like Braddock. Like, they just completely get rid of the T in there? Yeah, it's like, okay, that's not my name, but I, I think you're referring to me, yeah. I imagine. That's a form of torture, people mispronounce and shit. Yeah. yeah. Or Torture's that they, gotten a lot more mild lately. Or that they got rid of Tropical Sprite at McDonald's. That's, that's pretty torture, torture yeah. Yeah. Taco yeah, Bell. Taco the Bell. The shredded is, chicken burritos gone at Taco Bell. That's torture. Just in general, Taco Bell is torture for a multitude of different reasons. Yeah, but it's usually afterward when you're on the toilet. It's mostly, yeah, it's self inflicted torture, you know? Yeah. But yeah. it's okay. That's really most of the torture thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, since we're, what, what are you at? <laughs> okay, okay. So let me do this. Since we're done talking about like actual torture methods, okay? I want to paint the image of my perfect torture method. Okay, now this is something that I've to been happen to with. you or to inflict. No, on like the, if you're gonna ever torture somebody, like truly torture them. Okay, so this is what you do. You you find like a really like lively room. Okay, what does that mean? Just a room that like makes like you happy. You know, it's like oh, got okay. some cool stuff. Maybe some nice colors. Like like a, like wall. a nursery. Somewhere where you feel like comfortable, you know, like just like, oh, this is a nice place. I can there's hang out. Beanbag chairs, there's posters. Six feet in the ground. You do that. Okay, whatever it is. <laughs> so you do that and you tie them to a chair, right? So the chair's not going anywhere. Preferably it's bolted down. You is don't want to move. Is it a special chair? Is there anything weird about this chair? No, it's just like a, just a, chair. Just a chair you'd sit at a table at, you know, like Does a it restaurant have arms? chair. No, it doesn't. You okay. just sit there, you get your arms flop. I want to get the full picture. That's the only reason. So you're you're tied down, right? And what you do is you put a clock on the wall, okay? So like they're gonna be facing the wall, and maybe put a TV in there or something, or like a computer, just out of reach, so it's like not turned on. But they like know that it's there and it could be used, you know? <laughs> you see, your torture is just giving them like like, like hold on, like no, 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 things no. It to all, do, it but all they culminates. Can't do them. It all culminates, okay? So this is like a a week long torture. Yeah, okay, okay. So, like, the first day, you just leave them in that room alone. Like, just nothing. You just kind of let them stew. They'll probably get complacent. You know, they're like, all right, I'm stuck here. What are you going to do? Right? This is where the clock comes into play. Right at noon, you come in. If they're asleep, you wake them up. And then you just cut off a finger. You don't say anything. You just cut off a finger. What do you use to do that? Whatever you want. You can clip it off with some pliers. You could slice it with a knife. Whatever. However, a dealer's choice wants to do. I think a cleaver it. would be the best. So you take the finger off, right? And they're going to be like, what the fuck is that? Then you take an iron and you cauterize it really fast so they don't die. It's just like, it hurts. It's painful. It's gross. Clean them up. Put some bacterial shit on there. You know, you don't want them to die of infection. Yeah, you want to keep them around. Then. So it's 12, right? Then every three hours on the dot, you come back in, you take a finger. Once all the fingers are gone, then you start going into the toes, right? Then they got nothing. Then you give them another day because then they're like, what the hell is going to happen next, right? And then you just never show up again. You just let them stew there forever. You, you know take all their fingers and toes and you just let them stew. Hey, what, uh, do you leave the fingers and toes in there or you take them with you? Um, what do you what's happening with these? 
these things. I would say it's up to you. Uh, personally, for me, I would leave them out. I'd like I'd put them on the floor. Dude, there should be a fish tank in there, and each time you cut one off, you just throw it in the fish tank, and they start nibbling. That'd be cool. Okay, yeah, yeah that could work. But you know what's crazy about this scenario? I'm pretty like the more you elaborated on it, I'm pretty sure you've told me this idea. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I have many times. It's the perfect torture method because it's. <laughs> You you get them on the schedule, you know. It's you, like, like you've been thinking about this for years. Well, see, because then in the I time, know it. Like, then they start to freak out, right? So like they realize that every three hours you come in and you take another one. So like by hour two and a half, like they're just sitting there, like oh shoot. Then they're becoming afraid of time and pain. And then when all of it's gone, they're like, you give them that day. They're like, this happened last time. I got a day of rest, and then something bad really happened. So what's going to happen next? And then they're just going to freak themselves out that whole time. Okay, so they're then they just starve to death, or from go, thirst, or no? Yeah, you let them go. You you can either drink your finger fish water or die. You have to put all ten fingers in your butt, or you d- <laughs> finger enema. <laughs> yeah, get a bunch of like get a bu- no. You get a bunch of like push pins and you stick them in there, and you're like, all right, now open the door. And what? that's their last Open form the of door. torture. <laughs> they have, they just have tie nothing left. <laughs> if you tie Solve this shoe, Rubik's Cube. If you could beat me in a game of NBA 2K, you, <laughs> you could, could beat leave. me in a thumb wrestle. <laughs> I don't have any hands. It's like, well, that's going to be really hard for you, isn't it, then? <laughs> your that's my uh, torture. My torture method. What, what would it be? All right. Um. Uh, uh, maybe you just you in a room going, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you just have people to just sit with people berating me with questions about my future. I don't know, but maybe uh, uh, you just convince them that you that they've uh, you maybe killed everyone they love. Then maybe just leave them in a room with a videotape and a uh, knife. Maybe they kill themselves. That's Quick dark. to the point. Oh yeah, yours was such a fucking walk through the park. Yeah, I didn't have one planned. That's just the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> All right, Matt, what's just yours? make him feel so bad to kill himself. <laughs> Round us out on this episode. Give All us right, a I good got, torture. I'm, I'm gonna make this up as I go. Um, okay, so <laughs> you start off with causing minor minor inconveniences for people. You like take their, one day take their shoelaces, and then one day take their belt, take throw their, their bookmark, and put yeah, it on a different throw page. Throw their keys away. When, when they leave the house, you prop their fridge and freezer open so all the shit goes bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then that's where you start. And then you start paying their friends and family to just totally disrespect them. <laughs> so they're just really mean, and they don't care about them. <laughs> what kind like, of friends <laughs> and family do you have? That you, someone could Dude, pay people, them to just disrespect People you. do anything for the right price. And then after that, right. they're hated by everything. Everything in their life's going wrong. And then, um, and then I don't know. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and and they have just, to live with it. <laughs> life goes on forever. Just, I don't know. And then they have to they get financially decimated by therapy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, good. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just financially murder them. <laughs> You financially murder them with therapy, but then you hire the worst therapist ever. <laughs> and he helps. He's, he actually he's never makes met worse. you, so newsflash, you're the therapist. <laughs> and then that's where my method comes in. The therapist just <laughs> yeah. makes it worse. You have to make them be their own therapist. <laughs> you just put a mirror down and like, yeah. talk to yourself for an hour, uh, bitch. Find out what your problem is yourself, you piece of shit. If you don't shit. find out, we're going to hurt one of your family members. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Well, that's the episode <laughs> this week, guys. We talked about... Well, that's some about... torture. That's some old torture. There's some new ideas for torture, if you were wondering. Yeah, if you're a pioneer of the torture world, uh, let us know. I wouldn't recommend torturing people, but those are some ideas. It's always nice to torture, you know, whether it be emotional or physical. Maybe in the video games. You know? Yeah, you know, that's, that's always fun. fun. That's good. But, with all that being said, we will be back next week with a brand new episode, yeah. as we are every Friday. Yeah. I bet you guys didn't know that, did you? We caught, they haven't caught Friday. on yet. It what, what 109 is this episode? Shit, I don't know. Something 100 and like something. That. It's old, I'll tell you that. We're Fucked. getting old. Yeah. But 
We'll talk to you next week. We love you guys. Yeah, follow us on all the shit. All right, what? We have, we have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook and... Instagram, no, I already Facebook, said that. Email, Georgie, god damn it. Start a cold at gmail.com. And then we got the uh, Patreon, Patreon down below. below. And then and the, uh, uh, YouTube. 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 We are starting a cold. <laughs> <laughs>